Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do part two of Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. And yeah, I got just going to open the book. I got to find the picture. <laughs> I didn't put a, I uh, didn't put a, a bookmark on it. There we go. We're working on the little bug page. <laughs> so yesterday we did the uh, little red and the, or pink. I made it a little darker so it's redder. And then the um, blue one. And I was going to do him in green, but I think I'm going to do him in purple because I just keep envisioning him in the purple colors. So just for a refresh, we're doing this whole book in the same colors. The pink, the blue, the purple, and the green. And all the pages in here are done in the same colors. Oh, it's just three with a little tiny bit of black added or a little bit of white, which don't count as colors, by the way. <laughs> okay, so this one is going to be done in the black grape, Parma violet, and gray lavender. Grayed lavender. <laughs> okay, so that's the colors that we use in the book. This one's black raspberry, clay rose, and light peach. And this is indigo, slate blue, and sky blue light. Okay, I have to sharpen a pencil. <sighs> That's how it always starts, doesn't it? I forgot to sharpen a pencil. I think they're all needing of sharpening, but we do have little fine um, lines in these little bugs. So having them a little sharper is always a good idea, at least for me. Those tiny little legs are what get me. So how are you all doing today? There we go. I'm going to get you down a little closer to this little bug here. Not too close. Well, the camera's going to move that way. I'll just move the book there. We're going to start at the bottom, so <laughs> we'll just start there. Okay, black grape first. We're going to do them kind of the same as we Excuse me for just a moment. Sorry about that. It's always going to happen too. <laughs> Something has got to go on if you're going to start filming. Okay. Um, these little loopy thingies are going to be colored in black. So I'm not going to worry about those. And we're just going to add in our black grape down here. And while we're here, we will do um, these little guys. I like to do every other one so they don't all look the same. So a guy here. And yeah, I try to keep them cohesive on both sides. <laughs> You'll notice sometimes I don't do that. I do try though. Okay, now that's going to be light, so we're going to go up in here and darken this up. We're going to do the um, little round things the same as we did on the other guy. So it doesn't matter if this gets colored, it's going to go black. Get it up in here. There we go. Do a light coloring on that side so when we blend, it'll blend better. Both sides. Legs down here at the bottom. We'll bring that up to here and bring that down. 
and that's going to be black so I'll color this one color that one leave that little piece black Okay, and on these little guys, those are going to be black, so it will color in the little knobby thingies and pull the color down from here. This here is going to be black too. Color in his little foot. Okay, we'll do the same on this side. I think I'll come down on one side here. And there we go. Okay, the little foot on this side. Sorry about that. Okay, foot on this side. And all this is very ornate, so we're going to kind of move on up here to <laughs> the top. And get this foot done. And the antenna. And his face. That'll be kind of easy. Okay, do his eyes only because I'm working up there, so I can make his eyes as big as everybody else's. I'm going to come down the line here and color all that in. going to make those black lines so I'll color it so much that I can't see it but I want the darker color there then we'll do light around there hey boy this is going to be black this is going to be left white I'm double checking everybody else these are going to be uh, black making them loops so we'll go around here this will be black up here 
This one just takes a little more time. It's got more detail on it. Okay, this is part of the body, so we'll bring up some of that. And then do light. We'll do in here. Around the gemlets here. Just kind of bring it up. Uh, we'll do the same thing down here to this one. This one has these little colors here, so we're going to go inside them. The outside of that will be black. Um, we'll do these. This is going to be black. The outside of those will be black. It's only coloring a little bit in here. Do the same on the other side. So I don't forget what I'm doing. <laughs> I've done that before and had to watch my own video back to find out how I colored it one thing, one side. Okay. Now we have four of these. This is going to be black, so we can put the purple in here. I'm going up. Not down, okay. And then in here. <laughs> yep. We'll do the little gem a little later. Okay, now down here at the bottom, we'll start with the um, Parma Violet and just kind of come up. And down. goofed on these two, so just put a little more on there. Okay, go in here. Bring that color up. Oh, we missed all those. Well, we'll just have to do those in a bit. <laughs> Oops, went too far. Did I do this leg? <laughs> Didn't do that one. There we go. Mm 
Okay. Tiny, tiny details. <laughs> I think maybe I'll do that piece, but I'm going to wait a little bit. Sorry, tiny little lines. Okay, great lavender. <laughs> we'll just start up here. Gonna add it in. Oh, tiny, tiny spots. <clears throat> Sorry, that kind of hurts my wrist when I go into these teeny, tiny little areas. Hold the pencil a little different, I guess. we want to go up. <laughs> okay. Feet. And then down here. His feet. And 
I still have to do those before we go up there, so getting a little in there. Okay, so we forgot to do the, I uh, might want to check that and make sure it's not red. <laughs> here since I haven't I was gonna darken those and then I didn't do these tips here Okay, and we're going to darken down here. It's too light all the way up the body, so I'm going to turn the book a little bit. And we're going to darken over here. Got the right color. <laughs> If I get those pearly things, they're going to get painted in white paint. Okay, and the same thing over here. Take the Parma Violet. Sniffles. I need a piece of paper behind here. I'm getting some of those 
little bumps from the other page. We had a big storm the other night. Yesterday. <laughs> I haven't gotten much sleep. And we're going to darken it up a little, little bit up here too. Okay. And since we um, this got red on the tip and I don't want red up here. We darkened it here. I have to lighten a little bit up here. So we're just going to take the white and go around the edges there. And just give that a little more lightness to it so you can see those. Okay. Sorry about moving the camera. So he is mostly done. Let me darken him a little bit more here. Bring in the black, not indigo blue. Oh boy, would I have problems there. Gonna put a little black down here. And around here. And straight up this line. Down in here. You can see this, right? Nope. Okay, down here. I can use that black going around because these are going to turn black, so that will be okay. Bring it up here. I'm going to go into his feet and give him a little darker points on the toes. Yes, I call them toes. <laughs> okay, up here around whatever this is going to be. that out a little bit more there. We're going to take the black grape and go over where we put black. We're going to fix that foot because we didn't even color it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go on back down. <laughs> Did I put it to put it on the toes? And then down here. All right. And like the other one, we're going to put the black on him. Now down here I have to erase just a little bit of that that I just drew over those guys because I want them to be black. And the reason I have to erase it is because it takes a while to dry on the wax pencil. And I have a background I have to do on this page. <laughs> so I'd like to get the uh, ink dried a little quicker so when I'm doing my inking on the background, it won't smear all the black. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, these are black. Down here, and that's what I said, it doesn't matter if we get a lot of the black in this area. It'll just blend in with the black that the pen is going to put down. In fact, you can go right over it if you want. These little guys here, 
pretty sure I made that one black. Just gonna draw those in. Try to get our lines where they belong. <laughs> Then we're going to do these on the feet. Okay, we're moving up. Okay, we go up towards the head. I keep moving the camera. The microphone wire is in the way. Okay, so on the little area here, we are going to outline these pieces. Kind of make them a little bigger. Okay, it goes there. So they stand out and we're going to do this piece in black. And these pieces, we have triangles and scoops. Any place we missed, we'll go back over with pencil. little teardrops we'll have to figure out about those feet okay these are going to be black to keep our lines nice here. These are going to be done in black. I have to debate them on those things up here. I want those black. So I'm going to color everything else black and then come back and see if they should be. Probably should be. <laughs> should be so I'm just going to do it this one here we're going to connect it to there and make it like a loop and that one there this is just one there we go yeah that'll work
And if those are black, this one probably should be too. What do you think so far? <laughs> I've got to turn the book the other way. <laughs> Stay in camera. This one. So if I did that one, I probably should do these. Turn the book upside down, sorry. Okay, is that all the black? Could get that one done a little better. And we'll do this one. And then add purple on the other side of that. And we'll put a little black there because all the other legs have a little black there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, turning you around again. We have to do the little gem. So, black grape. Gonna go out here. It's gonna go in here. And then the Parma is gonna go on this side. Down there. Up here. And the gray lavender. In the other areas, a tiny bit of black here and up here. All right. Now we're going to go through here. Oh, I forgot a whole section there with the pen. Where's the pen? Didn't do those. <sighs> there a little bit. 
All right, um, black grape, black grape. We have all these little areas to touch up. So we're just gonna go around with the, I didn't even put any lavender in there either. Uh, any areas we need to touch up, <laughs> we'll go around and touch up. Didn't put any in there either. But this is a day of forgetfulness, isn't it? At least for me. Okay, I'm just going to darken that all the way up. So what I'm doing is going around and getting rid of all the little white spots. I mean, we can't all color perfectly, right? So now is your opportunity to go around and clean up any areas that didn't, I either didn't go over well with the black pen <laughs> or I didn't go over well. Oh, that's not picking up anything there. When I colored the first time. Darken some areas up a little bit more. There. Okay. Let's see. I don't know about these little triangle bits. I'm going to go... I'll go up one side. Try to do the same side. It's going to be the opposite over here. Just do those in the purple. Do these little things here in the gray lavender, make them lighter. Okay, take the white Pasca. And we're going to just add a little shine mark there. Oh, and his eyes. He needs his eyes. Nice big one up here, which is picking up the black and I'm going to have to go over it, but that's okay, right? All right, now what I have left to do is I'm going to ink the background on all of that. I'll get the thingy up a little bit so you can see all three little bugs. So we're going to ink the background probably in uh, Victorian Velvet and Dusty Concord. So a little pink purple action. And then we'll spray it and get some splattered effect on it. I don't know if I put very much, uh, well, yeah, we did just a little bit. I might put some white um, splatters on there. With the acrylic paint, I'm going to do all the little pearl-like objects on here. That is, I don't know if I want that white. It's so much like a... I'm going to go in here with the... Um, Great lavender and just give that a little color. It's a little bright there. So if I decide not to do all of that in white, I didn't do that one in black. 
Oh man. <laughs> That was before I decided to do them all in black, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I missed one. Oh well. At least I caught it before I made a photo, right? Okay. <laughs> kind of like those done in purple. So put a little parma violet down in here can do those all in um, the white paint these guys I liked in purple and that one probably should be done in black grape down on the bottom of these. Pull it up a little. that better. All right, getting out the white paint. Hold on. Okay, I have to ink before I put the white paint down or I'll be inking on the acrylic paint, which I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the wire out of the way. Wouldn't be a great idea because then I'd have to redo the white paint and I don't want to do things twice. <coughs> Victorian Velvet Dusty Concord. Tim Holtz, um, well, Tim Holtz, Distress Ink, um, <laughs> I can't remember, <clears throat> blending tool. This is the wood part, this is the sponge. I use the same sponge on the scrapbook.com inking tool. The tools are about the same. They both have the Velcro and the uh, sponges have the Velcro backing. It's just easier for me to use these sponge applicators than the round one that came with the other one. Okay, so we need a scrap piece of paper. Hello, how are you? Make sure I get the right color. And it goes. All right, I'm gonna go around. Um, I have other pages I've done like this. So like this is what we're after. So it's going to be a mix between the two colors. So we're going to throw some of this down. Kind of willy-nilly here and there. And it doesn't matter if it's blotchy because I'm throwing another color back on it. We can go over our little pink guy and we'll touch up any spots <laughs> that we might have missed. Okay, kind of splotchy is what I'm going for. If you're wondering why I'm not taking much time here, we're going to splat water all over it and add um, little water dots. Going in with the purple, I'm just going to go right over some of these areas and bring the purple out. Okay. Kind of like in the holes I left. 
you'll notice that the eyes are going to turn a different color. It's because I'm inking over white acrylic, but it's okay. I'll redo them. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we'll need a little more pink in there. So I'm just going to go back in with the pink. Uh, Victorian velvet. Go all the way to the edge of the paper. And a little more purple, maybe some over here. Looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, we're going to come in with uh, some splatting water and pull out some of that. Also, if you do this and you put acrylic paint down first, it's going to wash right off your page with the uh, water because acrylic paint will do that. That's why when you're doing like um, clouds or something with white acrylic paint on a black background, you can get it to smear really nice with a baby wipe. There we go. Get splatters all over it. There's some up there in that corner too. Okay, maybe right there. Okay. I have to wait for that to dry to put the splatters on, but our little bugs are um, dry enough to do their dots. So I'll move the ink out of the way. I'm going to put down some folk art uh, multi-surface acrylic paint. This one happens to be satin. I have another one that's matte, but this one is satin, and it's okay because I'm doing the pearls and the splatter. I'm not painting a background in white. I do usually prefer matte, but... Okay, we just ran the paintbrush right through that. Interesting. This is a McGill um, tool. This happens to be the three millimeter size. This up here is the eight millimeter size. And I'm pretty sure I could use the three millimeter size. It's a ball end. Um, I bought this set as a flower making kit. Uh, cut out a punch of a flower and then you pretend that's a pad. You rub it like this and it forms the petals. You can probably buy these on eBay or on um, Amazon if you look up nail art. Uh, people put these decorations on their fingernails. That would just drive me nuts, but I mean, <laughs> they put dots and stuff and you can use these for that. So they're probably cheaper than this set. I'm just going to dip it in a little blob of paint here so it's covered and kind of thick. And we're going to go over the dots. Just set it down. It makes a perfect round dot. And we're just going to go over all of these little dots here. With the white paint.
Now these are bigger, so I'm just going to turn this around and put a little blob on there and get a bigger one there. The paint will even out. You don't have to worry about that big old dot there. If you are worried about the big old dot, just take the other end in and move it around a little. All right, um, that big dot is a little big. I think I have another one in here. Maybe I have one that's not as big, yeah. Okay, this one here is a, let me scrape off the paint, <laughs> a five millimeter size, and it's a little bit um, smaller, but bigger than that. I think that might work a little better on those. So put that one aside for a minute. Pick up paint. And do all these guys. Okay, and then up at the top up here, I don't know if I want that big a one. We'll see how this one does. Oh, just want to tap it down. Oops, didn't get enough paint on that one. Okay, if you can see this, right? I'm really hoping you can see this. Do the ones up here. Okay, and then the bigger ones down here. Okay, we're going to do one here, here, one here, I get the small one.
You can also use these in their eyes if you want. They'll all be the same size that way. Okay. This little guy over here doesn't have much, but we're going to put some on him so he looks a little more cohesive with everybody else. And if there isn't one, you can always put one in. So we're going to do that. We're going to also add some sparkle in here. Whoops, that one got a little too big, so this one has to be bigger. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and put it around his uh, gem, too, since the rest of them have it. going up there too. Now they kind of all look like they have the same amount of pearls on them. Okay, so we're going to get out the, just move all that stuff out of the way. Stickles. And we're going to add some of these in there, too. We're going to put a little on the gems. Come on out. Just to sparkle those guys up. Like I said, I was going to put some in here. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope so. I have to look at the camera. Right up that line. Um, anywhere else you think you would like to see it, I'm going to put it in here, up that line. In fact, we'll just make a line going up there on all of these. Okay. Then up here, we'll put it inside of those. We'll put some around his eyes and up on his um, antenna and on the tip of his toes. Of course, you notice what I just did. I pinned myself in. I can't put my arm over it anymore. So I'm going to have to turn the book. <laughs> And we'll put a little on this side of this, too. Alright, maybe a little up here. Okay, okay. Just a little bit down in here, too. Just down under there. Alright. So, I'm going to do the bugs like that, do their toes, their little feelers, or I don't know what these are, antenna, <laughs> just the tips. 
and uh, any little bits inside that I think could use a little sparkle. So I'm just going to turn the book since I did that side first. And now I have to work on this side. Try to avoid getting my hands in anything here because I have wet paint all over the place. So we're going to go here. Go up the center here. Okay, on the black. On the little diamondy things. Around the gem. I uh, can't do the outside, but we can do his neck up here. around his eyes. And I'll do his feet on this side first. Get his toes. Get these little things to make them stand out a little bit more. Okay, toes, toes. And his Oh, I forgot to do the white up here. Well, it's still on my desk. I can do these little beads. And the red guy. Start down here in his toesies. Tip here. Okay, and around the gym too. There we go. I'll get our sparkle. Gotta turn it around, make sure it they all sparkle the same. I think they look good. Okay, we're going to remove this sheet. I'm going to use it as a guard to everything on my desk. I like to put splatters on my work. I think it looks cool, but it is messy. And I have to put the um, uh, little dots. Um, I'm just putting a whole bunch of paper around on my desk so the splatters don't get up on my computer, on my floor, blah, 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 blah you know desk. I've got to do those guys up there before I do this, so get the paint. I don't know how much paint I have left up here. Come on. Paint. 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 There we go. All right. I'm going to add just water to this paint that I have left here, I've tried to find my paintbrush. Camera should be up far enough. I have to stand for this so I don't get splattered too. Then we're just going to add some paint splatters in here. 
think I need more paint down there. Not that much. <laughs> it's a full bottle. That was a big blob. There we go. Big mess, huh? <laughs> I'm going to get rid of these papers. We're going to turn off these lights and see if you can get an actual look at what that's going to look like. Believe me, it doesn't look like that. But I mean, it's going to photo like that, so I might as well show you. I don't think you can get any of the sparkles, but they're on there. There we go. On the feet. I just put my hand in paint. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yep. Yeah. Around the neck, on all the little antlers. And I just. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. It's been one of those days. I always keep a rag on my desk <laughs> for things like that. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I'll take a picture and put it at the end of the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye now.